Hey guys, it's Google again with another video and this time I've got an installation guide for Blackota Note 4 for Galaxy S3 so stay tuned for that. So guys, uh, Blackota Note 4 is, uh, is one of the most requested ROM for me to review till date right now after I have come so uh, I am finally going to do it so yeah let's get into the ROM now uh, the installation guide first because uh, it is an aroma installer it does have quite a few features which you might have to look into so let's get into that first of all um, well you do have to get to the package which is well here note for light uh, it is an aroma package so let's uh, swipe to flash so as you can see this is the aroma package and you will see the uh, graphics and all that it is uh, really good it does have a lot of things to it so it is really nice you can see it is note version 5 note 5 edition which he calls it is really nice uh, this is the release date it has been out for some time and there has been uh, talks of a new version coming but due to a few problems it's not released yet so yeah uh, we go with whatever we have now so in the next menu you will see it is terms and conditions you will have to agree and it is standard stuff I mean you if you are flashing something you may need to um, well you are you do not have any right to say that the ROM caused a problem because that is just stupid so just go to next and this is the change log now uh, these are the previous ones you can see the new ones have note 5 app icon note 5 wallpaper picker official wallpapers system of op optimized all that previous ones also uh, also have a lot of changes this does include those if you have been away from these roms for some time now you can see what all are different so yeah it is based on back to node v5 v9 so that is a good thing because that is one of the best stock ROMs available for Galaxy S3. It is based on 4.4 uh, so it is going to be nice so yeah let's get to next. Now you can actually use this ROM without a full wipe if you have done a full wipe manually but it is very 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 much recommended that you do a full wipe so yeah let's select next. Now here you have options to select what all Samsung apps you want so you can actually select whatever you want. Uh, if you are looking for a Samsung experience you can select all of them and it will not be much of a problem but if you are do not what I would suggest is do not select Samsung apps because it is considered bloatware whatever you may plan to it uh, my files is a good thing um, whatever else you may want to use as a Samsung device you may use but uh, just just go with whatever you want to uh, do not extensively select all of these because it is available because that's going to slow your system down you do have an option for touch with launcher uh, if you want a 4x5 or a 5x5 system I would prefer 5x5 because it gives you more real estate to have more icons in the screen so that's really nice now okay the lollipop UI you can have two of those um, you can have with without s finder and q connect in the notification drawer or you can have it with uh, the s finder and q connect um, it depends on personal uh, things uh, q connect i've never used s finder also i do not uh, actually use that so i probably will not be using this but you, if you have used s finder and if you have kind of figured out how to use q, q connect um, well you can go for that one it will also work i haven't directly tried it out but hey it is there uh, i will go with without s finder now you do have random uh, ROM add-on so you can have uh, additional symbols on this uh, on the keyboard uh, so that you can uh, long press the keyboard for extra symbols so that is really nice additional key uh, okay you can only select one of these um, enable it on the keyboard if you don't use as finder if you use one use this you have to select this one I will pr select this one for additional symbols so that is there uh, enable Facebook sync if you use Facebook and you want to sync your phone to your Facebook account you can have that UPSM manager is something which I would suggest you use because that is a really really good battery saver it's really nice note for key layout so that is also there also ad block you can actually enable that so that is really nice so that much is it in the installation aroma selection so yeah it was a short short uh, installation selection but it does really make a lot of difference in how you use the phone so in this configuration I've actually installed everything so it is there so yeah that's really nice so yeah I will be making the review soon enough so let's 
wait for that. So I hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.